I've needed a sticker wall for quite some time. I've mentioned it before in videos. I've been doing sticker swaps for a while. I thought prime spot, that'll be perfect. But I had these little ridges on the doors and they wouldn't have stuck properly. Sawdust would have got behind. Ugh. Anyway, it's Saturday night. I'm in here after a few cups of tea and I thought I could just stick some board up there. I had some like three mil MDF. Found some, realized that I could cut it up into three bits, which would almost perfectly fit those three sections. I went up to my kids and I said, girls, randomly give me three colors, light pink, light green, dark blue. Then I got together all the stickers of the makers that I've been hanging on to and I messaged them all on Instagram. I know this is random and it's going to seem strange. I need you to pick a color out of light green, dark blue and light pink. Let me know. First off, woodwork and whiskers. Ash. He has to go first. I've had this sticker since 2019. Ash is an absolute pillar of the maker community. And if anyone can pull off those trademark shirts, it's him. He gets to go first. And Ash picked blue. No doubt you're all aware of James from Fikes at Flangers. His videos, his projects, his reviews, they're thoroughly detailed and really well explained. And he's an excellent help in the Aussie Makers group and an all round good guy. He chose, as he called it, Workshop Blue. Joe's workbench. Joe is an exceptional maker, very highly talented. Then you add the 3D printer and his CNC machine. The guy's basically unstoppable. He also chose blue. Darren. You may know him as Woods the Worst That Could Happen, or 2 by Forge, or Ghetto Street Press, or whatever he's deciding to do now. The guy works with metal and wood. He's making clothes now. The guy can do anything. Now, Darren was very quick to say pink. But when it came to 2 by Forge, I guess it was the metal fumes. He was kind of all over the place when it came to what colour he wanted to pick. I'm going to give him blue, but I'm going to stick him upside down. Because his thinking was kind of upside down. Then, picking green, because he was very excited, because he just picked up his new Festool track saw, and... Festool Green and Festool was the one and only Dirk at Sumo's Projects. Another very talented maker, very active in the community online with the Measure Twice, Cut Once podcast and just so much going on. Sumo, over to Green. In true Measure Twice, Cut Once fashion, Dirk's partner Chris was right behind him. Very talented maker, very active in the community. Chris also chose green. It'll be great to see what he's able to create with that new CNC machine and that fantastic new plywood castle of his that he's just, he's just built. Next up, also chose green. And that's Homer Made. Now, since getting this sticker, he has rebranded to Leuven custom furniture, I believe it is, doing some fantastic work, very talented maker, actually lives not too far from me, but uh, mate, I'll, uh, I'll have to get one of those fancy new Leuven furniture stickers off you. Next up, it's another pink, and a man who needs absolutely no introduction, Mark Dana, the palette punter, Dana Design, Dana Made, absolute bloody champion there's well, like what else can I say about Mark Dana pink next up ripper personality 
another Victorian. The guy works with metal, glass, timber. He makes tools. He makes chops. The guy's an absolute gun. Vipun. Absolute pleasure and privilege to have this. So thank you, mate. And what did he choose? He chose green. Manny from Wooden Thumb. The guy's doing amazing stuff with resin. Like so many others, able to just have so many skills and show off so many different talents. Now Manny chose pink. Another variant. Next up, another variant talent. Verity? Very. Another very talented guy when it comes to resin, but Dave at Mind Matter Create. Green. Makes some amazing pen blanks. All round great bloke. Big supporter of the community and very active in the community as well. So thank you, Dave. Second last, an absolute gentleman. He is cool, he is calm, he is chilled out. He's relaxed, he's positive. I don't know how he does it. But if you haven't guessed already, Vic from Down Under Woodworks. Incredibly talented. Builds some amazing things. But geez, when it comes to, you know, doing YouTube videos and stuff, there's no one more relaxed and chilled out behind the camera than Vic. You're a legend. He chose green. Last, but certainly not least, I, oh, I don't know what to say about this guy. I mean, he's hilarious. He's talented. He's, he's the whole package, really, isn't he? Champion of all champions. Clearly, I'm talking about Uncle Knackers from DIY for Knuckleheads. Now he chose green, so he'll go up on green. There's something I want to tell you about this sticker. Bit of a warning, folks. Dad joke coming up. Now, you see, I went to the DIY for Knuckleheads website to get myself a t-shirt. I also wanted to get a sticker. There were so many stickers to choose from. But in the end, I chose this sticker. I guess you could say, it just stuck with me. Stuck. Because it's a sticker. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to be on the sticker wall, then let me know. But for now, I think I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm, I'm sorry, Shane. I love you. And I mean, no offence. That was a terrible impersonation. It wasn't even close. So I'm really, really sorry.